So there is a forecast right now that this year, 2022, will have the highest rate of properties not closing. Why is that? That's a great question. We'll talk about that in this video. So what do I mean by property is not closing? What that means is on closing date, so you've got a signed agreement of purchase and sale, you're ready to go and on the closing day where all the money moves hands and you get a mortgage and you actually buy the property and get the keys, that doesn't happen probably because you haven't gotten financing. That's what I mean by properties not closing. And as you can imagine, <laughs> it's not really an awesome situation. It opens you up to litigation and it opens you up to you know potential paying out monies that you really don't want to pay out at this juncture. And you don't have a house, right? That's maybe the worst of all those things. So there are two main reasons, you know, why that's happening and why that's happening a lot now. It's because, you know, people in a bidding war, maybe they get excited and overextend themselves, uh, you know, or maybe they, they go past their pre-approval or they didn't have a solid pre-approval to begin with, or the bank doesn't appraise the property at the value that you paid for it in the bidding war. You know, and that happens through three right now because inventory is limited. Uh, it's a strong market, prices have moved quickly. Um, and, uh, you know, we're seeing 20, 30 bids on offer nights. And, you know, that's uh, the unfortunate side consequence of that. And understandably, you have to look at it from the seller's perspective, right? So on offer night, they have 20 offers. They're gonna probably take the highest offer that has no conditions, right? Because once that offer is signed, then it's a done deal and they've sold their property, right? Now, we should talk a little bit about what is a pre-approval because, you know, oftentimes people will get a pre-approval from their financial institution, uh, but, you know, maybe they haven't done all the due diligence and had all the paperwork to know exactly what you can afford. Um, and really to get, it's, it's not a firm deal. A firm deal is where you have all that information plus an agreement of purchase and sale. That's a firm mortgage. So once you have that, you know, you can buy the property. And the other thing that can happen is the bank doesn't appraise the property, uh, you know, at the value you paid for it, which means, you know, you have to come up with a difference or you can't close on the mortgage. And, you know, that's difficult. So I hope you found that hugely helpful. Uh, and interesting. And if you have any questions, we're starting FAQ Fridays where we'll answer your questions. So please leave some questions in the comment below and we'll put out, you know, a quick video to help answer that question. Uh, and if you want to know anything more about real estate, shoot us an email, info at thinkto.ca. Please like this video and please subscribe and you'll get more great content like this. Talk soon. <laughs>